Golden Shield Project from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. The Golden Shield Project, often referred to as the Great Firewall of China, is a censorship and surveillance project operated by the Ministry of Public Security Division of the Government of China. The project started in 1998 and began operations in November 2003. Section 1. History in 1998, the Communist Party of China feared the China Democracy Party, CDP, would breed a powerful new network that the party elite might not be able to control. The CDP was immediately banned, followed by arrest and imprisonment. That same year, the Golden Shield Project was started. The first part of the project lasted eight years and was completed in 2006. The second part began in 2006 and ended in 2008. On the 6th December 2002, 300 people in charge of the Golden Shield project from 31 provinces and cities throughout China participated in a four-day inaugural comprehensive exhibition on Chinese information system. At the exhibition, many Western high-tech products including internet security, video monitoring and human face recognition were purchased. It is estimated that around 30,000 police are employed in this gigantic project. It has been nicknamed the Great Firewall of China in reference to its role as a network firewall and to the ancient Great Wall of China. A major part of the project includes the ability to block content by preventing IP addresses from being routed through and consists of standard firewalls and proxy servers at the internet gateways. The system also selectively engages in DNS poisoning when particular sites are requested. The government does not appear to be systematically examining internet content as this appears to be technically impractical. Because of its disconnection from the larger world of IP routing protocols, the network contained within a great firewall has been described as the Chinese autonomous routing domain. During the 2008 Olympic Games, Chinese officials told internet providers to prepare to unblock access from certain internet cafes, access checks in hotel rooms and conference centers where foreigners were expected to work or stay. Section 2. Purpose In September 2002, Li Rinsen, the technology director at MPS and member of the Golden Shield leadership, further explained this broad definition to thousands of police nationwide at a meeting in Beijing called Information Technology for China's Public Security. In October 2001, Greg Walton of the International Center for Human Rights and Democratic Development published a report. He wrote, Quote, old style censorship is being replaced with a massive ubiquitous architecture of surveillance, the Golden Shield. Ultimately, the aim is to integrate the gigantic online database with an all encompassing surveillance network, incorporating speech and face recognition, closed circuit television, smart cards, credit records, and internet surveillance technologies. End quote. In July 2007, Authorities intensified the monitoring and control of the Great Firewall, causing email disruption, in anticipation of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization meeting scheduled for August 2007. Some commonly used methods for censoring are IP blocking. The access to a certain IP address is denied. If the target website is hosted in a shared hosting server, all websites on the same server will be blocked. This affects all IP protocols, mostly TCP such as HTTP, FTP or POP. A typical circumvention method is to find proxies that have access to the target websites, but proxies may be jammed or blocked. Some large websites allocated additional IP addresses to circumvent the block, but later the block was extended to cover the new addresses. DNS filtering and redirection Doesn't resolve domain names or returns incorrect IP addresses. This affects all IP protocols such as HTTP, FTP or POP. A typical circumvention method is to find a domain name server that resolves domain names correctly, but domain name servers are subject to blockage as well, especially IP blocking. Another workaround is to bypass DNS if the IP address is obtainable from other sources and is not blocked. Examples are modifying the host's file or typing the IP address instead of the domain name in a web browser. URL filtering. 
Scan the requested Uniform Resource Locator URL string for target keywords regardless of the domain name specified in the URL. This affects the hypertext transfer protocol. Typical circumvention methods are to use escaped characters in the URL or to use encrypted protocols such as VPN and SSL. Packet filtering. Terminate TCP packet transmissions when a certain number of controversial keywords are detected. This affects all TCP protocols such as HTTP, FTP or POP, but search engine pages are more likely to be censored. Typical circumvention methods are to use encrypted protocols such as VPN and SSL to escape the HTML content or reducing the TCP slash IP stacks MTU thus reducing the amount of text contained in a given packet. Connection Reset if a previous TCP connection is blocked by the filter, future connection attempts from both sides will also be blocked for up to 30 minutes. Depending on the location of the block, other users or websites may also be blocked if the communication are routed to the location of the block. A circumvention method is to ignore the reset packet sent by the firewall. Section 3. Censored Content Mainland Chinese Internet censorship programs have censored websites that include, among other things, websites belonging to outlawed or suppressed groups such as pro-democracy activists and Falun Gong, news sources that often cover topics such as police brutality, Tiananmen Square protest of 1989, freedom of speech, democracy and Marxist sites. These sites include Voice of America and the Chinese edition of BBC News. Sites related to the Taiwanese government, media or other organizations, including sites dedicated to religious content and most large Taiwanese community websites or blogs. Websites that contain anything the Chinese authorities regard as obscenity or pornography. Websites relating to criminal activity. Sites linked with the Dalai Lama, his teachings or the International Tibet Independence Movement. Most blocking sites experience frequent or permanent outages. Websites deemed as subversive. Blocked websites are indexed to a lesser degree, if at all, by some Chinese search engines. This sometimes has considerable impact on the search results. According to New York Times, Google has set up computer systems inside China that try to access websites outside the country. If a site is inaccessible, then it is added to Google China's blacklist. However, once unblocked, the websites will be re-indexed. Section 4. Bypassing Using a proxy server outside China Companies can establish regional websites within China. This prevents their content from going through the Great Firewall of China. However, it requires companies to apply for local ICP licenses. The Great Firewall cannot filter secure traffic such as traffic sent over virtual private network connections. Unenrouting, such as Tor and I2P, can be used. Professional advice from any one of the many companies offering bypass services from outside of China. For more options, see Internet Censorship in the People's Republic of China hash Technical Efforts at Breaking Through. SIJO VPN, Paperbus, FreeGate and OuterServe are free programs that circumvent the China firewall using multiple open proxies, but still behave as though the user is in China. UltraServe also scans for various government and commercial websites from the user's computer and may be used to monitor dissidents. Yes. Section 5. Unblocking Certain sites have begun to be unblocked, including the English-language BBC website, but not the Chinese-language website, YouTube, although it has been subsequently reblocked, This site, wikipedia.org, including the Chinese language edition. Social websites and free web hosting websites, however, these have also been reblocked. Some foreign news websites. Section 6. Corporation. Reporters without borders suspect the regimes such as Cuba, Zimbabwe and Belarus have obtained surveillance technology from the People's Republic of China. This sound file and all text in the article 
a licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 and ported license available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash three point zero.